video um, I have done a couple blogs before um, I think both of them have been for shopping one was for when I was going to Hermes to buy the blushes and then the other one I don't even remember but you know Mother's Day is approaching and to me Mother's Day the way I celebrate it it's a little bit different yes I go um, with the kids usually for breakfast um, but because many of you you know that I own a catering business and a couple of restaurants um, those days any celebrations honestly is not the time for me to celebrate it's the time for me to work <laughs> so usually what I try to do is just like a couple weeks before I start pampering myself doing stuff that I love and like so I thought, you know, let me turn on the camera, show you a little bit of those things that I like to do as a mom. And maybe they could be an inspiration for you if you're a mom or just, you know, in general to pamper yourself or if you're thinking for a gift to your mom. Anyhow, so I have my cup of coffee right here. Mm, so good. I drink it black. <laughs> yeah completely black i don't like any sugar on my coffee on my tea no way no splenda no no no, no. stevia mm, stay away from me i don't like anything about it but yeah this should wake me up a little more but anyhow the plans of today is i'm planning to buy some new couches yeah mine are really old and they just we just need an upgrade so i think i'm gonna go to restoration hardware check them out i'm gonna put it from sarah if you hear a noise it's my roomba <laughs> it's going bananas <laughs> so hey that's a great gift for mother's day Amazing, it's a dress. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited. I mean, this is satin. Oh, wait a second. This has a stain right here. Seems like somebody has used it and they have sent it to me. <laughs> uh, that's not okay, but definitely I will contact Sarah and let them know this is not, not acceptable. But this is so beautiful. I need to try it on. I may try it on in a second or two, but if you're wondering, this is the one I got in the size medium. I have big hips, so <laughs> sometimes I need a little bit of a larger size right here. So we'll see how it goes, but I really like the card. I actually like the fabric. It looks nice too. I just don't like that extra stain. And then I got another green, beautiful, this time is, let me show you, hold on, small piece, <laughs> it's a dress, this green, it's everywhere, like right now everybody's wearing this green, and I have a beautiful top I bought last year on this green shade. And it's just so pretty. I really love the cut too. It's got like a square scoop cut. And just in case if you're wondering which dress it is. And I will be linking, you know, everything that I show you today. It will be definitely on the description box below. So that way you can go ahead and shop if you wish for. So this is kind of like everyday top for me. Uh, you see me wearing this top all the time during my videos. 
like pretty much all the time. I have them in so many different colors, but I really like it's of kind of like a I like to a spandex material. It's soft. Um, when you wash it, it's kind of wrinkly like this, but as soon as you put it on, it just all the wrinkles go away, and they come in so many different colors. So this is a basic top, and there you have it. So this is the number, and I have this one in so many different colors. This one is kind of like an off-white. I have it in white, I have it in a creamy color. I also have it in brown. Did I say black too? Red, pink, I mean, so many different colors. I wish they would do this same shirt in this beautiful green. That would be amazing because it really fits so well and kind of like, um, you know, like snacks you, <laughs> you know like the belly part and your waist, it really like ties everything in, which it's really, really nice. Okay, let's see the next shirt right here that I got. This is just a very simple um, bodysuit, actually, in this beautiful lime green color, which lime green on clothing is perhaps one of my favorite colors. When I'm talking about colors, I do lime green, turquoise, um, sometimes blue, um, but yeah, or like navy blue. I usually go more white, black, lots of black, um, beige tones. But when I want to go with color, this color right here suits my skin tone very really well. Also, kind of like a peachy tone also suits me well. More corally than peachy, but anyhow, this looks very nice. It's kind of like a sweater like material and it has yeah the you know like closure up here and let me show you the number so that way you can find it too hopefully this is helpful for you guys but yeah this is what i got and then i thought it would look super super cute if i was to pair it with this gorgeous mini skirt i thought Oh yes, this skirt looks super cute. Wow, it's actually a skirt. So yeah, like built on shorts, which is perfect because this is a mini one. And it looks super pretty, thick material. I mean, the quality of, you know, Sarah, it's really good quality for the most part for being, you know, kind of uh, fast fashion kind of a store. But you will find, you know, certain details that sometimes you have to, you know, touch up. But for the most part, I really love Sarah's um, type of clothing. And then on the back, it has, they're not pockets, you know. They look like you have pockets, but they are not. But I thought this is so super, super, super cute for, yeah, to mix it in with that beautiful bodysuit up there. So here's the dog for the Roomba. So yeah, I will make sure to leave the details of which Roomba I have, but yeah, he comes all by itself. He does them, you know, he maps the house and all that. So, and this is my Dyson one. I think this is the B5, honestly. I don't remember, but it's amazing. It's my best friend too. <laughs> I love it. It's so lightweight and just perfect. So yeah, these are cleaning tools that I use all the time. Are you ready to help me, Andrea? Yeah, and I'm her assistant. You're my assistant. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have known that I really wanted a new set of pots and pans. And I was actually undecided of which one to get. <laughs> so I, I did a poll and a lot of you you know, like voted, and a lot of you said, go for the crusade, and that's what I did. So I got this 10 piece set, stainless steel. Oh, ah! <laughs> My little assistant. <laughs> okay, let's open it up. Let's open this. And if you want to know, this is the Le Crusade 10 piece set. So it's supposed to come with a frying pan, a saucepan, another saucepan. Okay, this one is a four quart and this is a two quart. And then, and then this right here is a 
stock pot with pasta insert. Mm -hmm. Here's the pieces to the pan. I know. <laughs> Me and my mom, we are going to put it together. on because I'm going to be using my lead mask. This is by Korean Body and I also have the neck and the collet perfector which is this right here. So I'm going to be using these two. You can use it anytime throughout the day, either morning, nighttime. Nighttime is really nice if you are a person that is very hard to kind of like disconnect from the world and you're constantly looking to your phone, to your devices, you know, maybe you can set yourself in a way that at nighttime you just go ahead and do your ritual. You can do this right here and then you do your, you know, skincare and then you go to sleep. So it's a really good way to like, okay, I'm going to disconnect from, you know, any type of devices, social media and all of that and just kind of wind down or maybe just put your, you know, oil diffuser, relax and just have a good time, you know, because that's all what it's about. So anyhow, but before I do this right here, I'm going to work on my hair. So not always, I will say perhaps once a week or every 10 days, I use my Sisley Hair Ritual um, because I use another mask, you know, the one from Color Wow. Um, so anyhow, this is the one that I like to use. It's so good. It's such an amazing hair mask and you can use it throughout the entire day if you want to. Like, say if you are on a day that you're just, you know, like doing chores or you know, like, I don't know, going grocery shopping and stuff like that. Or you can just, you know, leave it at night. It does have this kind of like a glycerin-like consistency, but it's not glycerin, obviously. And it has such a gorgeous herbal, kind of limey kind of scent. Like citrus, not lime, but citrus scent. And it actually makes your hair look as if it's wet. It doesn't make your hair look greasy at all and whatsoever. And I apply it everywhere. You know. Like this much. smells so good and actually the hair doesn't look you see it looks wet it doesn't look as if it's greasy it's a pretty amazing product now the only thing that i really like to put on before i use the lead mask is the vegan kombucha tea essence by dr suraikal suraikal is this one right here i will make sure again put it in the description box for you friends but this is it and this is basically fermented green tea kombucha 
vegan kombucha and actually some did some trials and it was actually just with green tea you see this is very like milky like super super milky and it showed that by using just green tea even if you just want to steep green tea it actually showed even more benefits using the lead mask like the results are a lot more not only faster but also better like you will get better results and just like with any type of device it's very important to be consistent with it sometimes i'm not as consistent you know life gets in the way i forget to and things like that but it is important to be consistent and i really wanted to go back to my lead mask because i noticed it that i have been having a lot of redness right here my enlarged pores they look a little bit more enlarged we all have pores that's a human thing <laughs> there you know nothing is gonna that's why products say it will diminish but it will never disappear the pores that's normal all our skin you know has pores but definitely i noticed that my large pores they look a little bit more pronounced there's a little bit more redness so i really want to get back to my lead mask and just use it more often that way i can see more results and um, here on my neck i start noticing a lot of like you know that fine lines you know spur of aging i'm already over so also it is what it is so let's get to this and this only takes like 10 minutes to do so it's, it's nothing that it will take a lot out of your day either. i know this may be a little bit scary for you <laughs> I know it looks like a horror movie but the, you know the good thing about this mask right here is that it's made out of silicone so it actually really gets close to your skin and you can adjust it too you know with a strap on the back and honestly I feel more comfortable closing my eyes so for me it's a really good way to relax I'm just going to start them on right here. It's all done. Then right after I do this, I go for my skincare of the day or at night time, my skincare of the night. But the first thing that I apply is my La Merida Treatment Lotion. This here is magical. Um, it really helps to nourish, hydrate, repair, pump air, balance your skin too. Um, it's kind of like an essence in a way um, that it really helps absorb all the rest of the products afterwards. I will highly suggest when you're doing a lead mask, you don't want to exfoliate right before or right after. You don't want to have any moisturizer or anything heavy because otherwise it will be not worth it. Um, the lead mask at all. So you just need something that will nourish and just calm your skin, and this does. I think I just want to get my, you know, nails done again. I do them myself, so <laughs> I just love to do them myself. So I just need to, you know, repaint them and that's another me time. I just put some music or watch some YouTube and um, yeah, so I'm going to get my nails painted now. If you're curious to know what I'm using as far as my nail polish right now, it is a combination of the Hermes base coat and then I also use these Hermes nail polish in the shade Rose Coquille. I'll make sure to put it on the description box below for sure. And then the tips are from Lights Lacquer 
in Candy Girl. It's a beautiful pinky shade. And then top coat is also by Hermes. I think this is a really good gift for a mom. Like I personally really enjoy having some me time and paint my nails. Um, so if your mom is like that, you can give her a set of different products for the nails or just, you know, schedule her to go to a nail salon, get her mani pedi and all that good stuff. That's, that's a great thoughtful gift too. But I'm going to be changing my nail polish to this beauty right here by Chanel. It is in the shade Onuic 923, which it was launched with the uh, La Pausa collection, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, this is a beautiful nudey pink shade. I woke up very early this morning, did my exercise, 
got ready the kids to go to school took my shower as you may recall yesterday i did the hair mask by sisley it is an amazing mask it leaves your hair so soft and manageable but today i use once again my new Oribe hair alchemy system both the shampoo and the conditioner and this system right here is more of like a preventative kind of care for your hair the shampoo will fortify your hair and then the conditioner give that moisture back to your hair really really good products by Oribe this new line really has impressed me quite a bit um, anyhow I just wanted to show it to you but right now I'm here because I want to do my new face right here with you so I have raved about the new face for quite some time and you have seen me recommended many many times so I said you know I'm gonna do it let's just turn on the camera and show to you how I do this whole thing so basically I just put a little bit of toner on because I knew I needed to you know grab some stuff grab my coffee sit down and whatnot um, but what I usually use is the new face gel primer this right here and if I don't have these available then I use the snail museum by the name I think is Cosarex but anyhow I'm gonna do this and basically this is kind of like exercise for your face muscles so it will really help to lift up your muscles just you know like tone them and it is super important just as any exercise to use it often like um, if you don't, then you will see a little bit of sagging and whatnot, and that is really important. This is one of the best microcurrent devices out there. I also have the one from Fodio, the bear one. Let me know if you want to see a comparison on that, but yeah, I'm going to be using my new face today. I charged it last night, so it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and use this baby. There you go, and then you can put it how strong you want it So, <laughs> I need to do a lot of things, but I want to get some shopping done, and I thought, what about if we do it together? So, I have been eyeing some pieces of jewelry from Monica Vinader, um, and I do have a discount code with them, and an affiliate with them. Um, so, I think it's for your first purchase, 20% off, something like that, but regardless. Here, they have some new goodies. You see this? bangles right here I have been eyeing them because they look very pretty this one honestly resembles a little bit to the Cartier Love but without being the Cartier Love you know what I mean so let's take a peek at it it looks beautiful I do have this ring I absolutely love it let's see right here oh that's so nice so I may end up getting this one, although I have to be honest with you, I don't like to have things that are too alike to other brands or that are quote-unquote dupes, but this one doesn't seem to be a dupe. In fact, I think it only has one diamond and that's it. But they have other pieces too. Another piece that I was looking at is this one. It's very pretty. This one is tempting me so much um yeah let's see what else they have in the new inn i love their mother of pearl oh these hoop earrings <gasps> i think i'm gonna cut them <laughs> they look so pretty <gasps> and they are in the stock right now oh i love some good chunky earrings like this and I think the price is right too. 
because I was saying uh, I don't really try to but I mean look at those I already have a couple things in my cart so <laughs> you may see some on like a whole video or something like that I already have this baby right here it's gorgeous mm -hmm. oh I like these earrings too these are cute let's see oh these are very cute too I don't know, I may end up getting these ones too. We'll see. This looks very pretty. Okay, so um, another thing, yesterday when I was doing my nails, I ran out of my nourishing oil and I was looking into buying the Hermes oil and it has been a couple months already trying to get it, but it's out of stock everywhere. And I even call my essay and they don't have it in the boutique so I may end up going with this nail cream from Dior so I'm gonna just add it to cart and now I wanted to see some jewelry also from Dior and I was thinking let's go to all fine jewelry mm -hmm. These are the new pieces. Honestly, they are pretty, but they are not my style. I was looking, oh, look at this. They look pretty, but I was looking more into perhaps something with pearls. I love my earrings from Dior, the ones that I bought. Oh my gosh, I bought them like a year ago. Let me show you which ones I'm talking about. If they are still available, are they still available? They should be. They are somewhere here, I'm sure. I usually link it because I know a lot of you really have been eyeing them. And um, I have to tell you that they are gorgeous. These ones right here. These are stunning. <laughs> Completely beautiful, stunning. And I... This is one of my favorite purchases from Dior, as I do my choker too. But anyhow, I was looking into this line because I really like the modern approach of these earrings. And I don't like when they say like Dior everywhere. <laughs> it's just, I don't want to be a billboard you know for brands i honestly do not like that and i think i even said it on my unboxing of my louis vuitton bag the reason why i don't like to really you know get the classical louis vuittons with the lv logo all over is it's just because that i really do not like to be a walking billboard for any brand um and not because I don't like the brand, <laughs> it's just because I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like to be that flashy, you know? These look cute with the little stars, but maybe a little too juvenile, don't know. Don't know, I still need to, you know, do a little bit more research, but, oh, perhaps when you're watching this video you have already seen my will I buy it a video talking about the new Levesh 2022 collection mm, it's not yet available let's see <laughs> perhaps we get a big surprise and we're like voila it's here no it's not here they have reformulated the precision eye definers and then also the intense eye pencils mm, I don't need them right now but Let's see if they have launched the new Paris Paris fragrance. No, no, it's not. But mm, look at this. Oh, number five, the soaps. Okay. All right. Let's go for fine jewelry. I think this is the one. Okay, the Coco Crush. That's what I'm looking at. I don't need to see any film. 
but this is what I have been looking at lately. Um, I think I want to get... This is the thing, I cannot purchase these beauties online. I have to order them through a boutique. So I think I'm going to end up perhaps just going to the boutique at Beverly Hills and just check them in person because they do have the classic yellow gold as well as beige gold and I'm very prone to get the beige gold instead of the yellow gold although I want to really see them in person because it may be that I that with the rest of my jewelry maybe you know like just regular yellow gold will look good but I'm looking anyhow I'm looking to this Coco Crush ring I don't know about the ones with the diamonds. I think I just want something simple for my ring finger and I want the thicker band. So this is the way that I want to use it. Do you have this one right here? Let me know how you're liking it. But I honestly really like this Coco Crush. It looks just so beautiful. Also, the medium size look good, but I sometimes like a little bit more of like a statement ring. And you know, it's just a couple hundred dollars more for a bigger band, so I don't think it's, you know, such a big deal. So I may end up going with this one right here. Ooh, they have a bracelet too. Okay. Okay, the bracelet looks pretty. It looks very pretty. I like, you see, I like simplistic kind of jewelry. Yeah. And definitely I'm going to be getting some jewelry from Monica. Definitely the Hope earrings. And perhaps these earrings right here from Dior. I think I need to just dig in a little bit more. Mm. Oh yeah, I was looking into a bracelet from Dior. So that may be something else that I can check. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, sneakers. I have been eyeing some sneakers from Dior, but do they have it? I'm in the men's section. Maybe I am. Oh, Jacqueline. Yeah, I think I'm in the men's section. <laughs> there you go. Sneakers. I don't like these big old things. I want something simple, not too flashy. This look cute, but they are canvas. I want leather. I I like leather better because I feel like they will just last longer and they are easier to clean too. Mm, I don't think they have leather. They don't? Oh my gosh, don't tell me that. Come on, Dior. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe then I need to check. Perhaps Chanel, they have other ones. I don't know. These are so cute. These are very cute. But these Dior everywhere. <laughs> oh. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I can... Yeah, it's not like super flashy, but I mean, if you're looking from up and saying, like, oh yeah, you're wearing Dior. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then I have jumped in really quick here into Ulta because I was looking for the Chanel Room Agape. Um, this is the waterproof long-lasting eyeliner and I completely finished mine and it has passed I will say at least three or four months since I cannot get it. So I'm um, getting it <laughs> because it's now in a stock here. I just wish that you could feel and touch my hair. It's so silky. I'm telling you, that Sisley hair mask, it's amazing. And you can use it like the day before for more than 24 hours. And it will leave your hair amazing. Plus the Oribe Alchemy hair shampoo and conditioner. They are an amazing combo too, I think. You know, 
they all work so good and <laughs> you may be like Jacqueline didn't you say that you don't like to use you know shirts or things that they actually say the brand name I know this is Burberry but this is pretty much my loungewear I bought the same one for my son and I actually really like the material it's a very soft cotton and I thought when I received the one for my son I thought you know this white part this is Burberry that it was gonna crack that it was gonna be like um bad material you know cracking not at all whatsoever I had wash his and mine many many times and it's in perfect condition in fact i think i want to get also a white one they have it in several colors there's an orange one that i think looks very very cool too um but yeah this is pretty much my lunch where when i go out for say grocery shopping or you know i just need to step at sephora or something like that i throw this but also when I get really cold at home, I just put it and it's not like super cozy. It's something that, you know, I can definitely wear it like during like nights of summertime too, you know, when it gets a little bit chilly and I really like it. I think it's really cute. Really, really cute. You see, it just has a few details. It says Burberry. It kind of goes around there. So you will have to kind of know, <laughs> you know, um, to know that it's a name brand. So I don't feel like it's a total billboard style. And also, you know, I have long hair, so it kind of like covers it up. It's a really nice piece. I really like it more than anything. I really like the material too. So now I'm just going to continue with the rest of my... I just need to get, you know, a little bit of makeup. I'm going to be meeting with a client a little bit later on today. But before I started styling my hair, I applied my sunscreen. You know, friends, I have been enjoying so much the Tatcha, the silk sunscreen. So it's just very thin in consistency. It absorbs in the skin. When you take it out, it's very liquidy. It, it may seem a little bit like it has a tint um, that it may leave you a white cast. It doesn't. It absorbs in the skin so well. And I think it's one of those sunscreens that works amazingly under makeup. So good. So highly, highly recommended. And then for foundation, I'm gonna go with the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is kind of like an everyday morning type of foundation. It does have a little bit more coverage too, um, but it's not like super dewy, too creamy. It looks so beautiful and I'm just so excited for the new cream bronzers. Have you seen them? There's gonna be only like four shades, but they look very beautiful and I just cannot wait for them. I actually was able to find the link um, for you to sign up as an early access. So if you haven't signed up yet, I posted it on my Instagram. I posted it here on my community tab too. But I will highly suggest you to go ahead and put your email for early access. I will be leaving the link on the description box below. And if it has already launched, most likely I have already, you know, let you know everywhere, Instagram here, YouTube too and whatnot. But yeah. I'm gonna be using this video here. Oh, and by the way, from this same line, the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin, she's launching a concealer, which is along these lines too, kind of like more of like a radiant kind of concealer, which I'm very curious about too, because her other concealer is good, but I don't think it's ground ground breaking. You know what I mean? I'm very excited to see the concealer from this line. So. Anyhow, I'm going to be using my Pow Pow sponge. This is again from Shop Mise and I just love this sponge. You see, like, I, it's not that I don't mind spending money. I do mind. I do have three kids. Um, we're five in our household and, you know, we have a ton of expenses. So I'd rather save where I can. And I have been using for years, you know, other sponges, beauty sponges, but this sponge is just so good and the price is just so right that to me it's like a no-brainer it's so nice bouncy and it just applies the makeup wonderful so i'm gonna be using this baby right here and again i will be leaving the link where to find these sponges on the description box below because it's so good i 
I'm almost done with my makeup and I just started to put on my jewelry because I need to get going for my client's meeting. And by the way, these are the earrings that I was telling you from Dior. They are one of my favorite earrings. I mean, aside to, <laughs> I really love my Chanel Camellia earrings. They are just gorgeous and dainty, but these ones right here are just so pretty. And I'm planning to use a white blouse. So I'm thinking, you know, this will look good, not too much. I think I'm not gonna put a necklace on. Yeah, it will be too much. I just want something very simple. But I wanted to show to you something that I just got. Remember when I review the new Hermes lip oils and I mentioned it, I I am just so in love with them from the experience for absolutely everything that I picked up five, yeah, five of the six shades and I ended up picking up the other one. So it arrived, is this baby right here? And I'm just gonna use it and see how this goes. And I already opened it last night when it arrived and uh, it smells like berries, but I haven't put it on, so let's see how it looks. Hmm. It's really nice tone. You know, it has more pigment than the cherry one. I think this looks good. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be wearing a white blouse. So, and I don't have too much on my eyes either. I just have a very simple makeup. Definitely has that beautiful berry scent. A little bit of a nostalgic scent. And I think that's what Hermes was going for with these lip oils. Kind of bring that nostalgic kind of like vibe to each of them. And I think they really achieved it. They really did achieve it. Okay, and then for the fragrance of the day, I'm gonna go with the BDK Passe Soir. This is a gorgeous fragrance. If you haven't smelled it yet, I honestly love this fragrance so much. It does have notes of ginger, mandarin, orange blossom. It's very pretty and very unique. And also, you know, it's one of my most complimented fragrances. The ginger is super beautiful and it does have queens. And I love queens. I love queens, the queen space with some jamón serrano, Marco Naumus, Amancheco, oh my gosh. And eating just Queen's base by itself or Queen's fruit or in Peru we make this drink that we do put some Queen's in it. It's just such a soft, not too sweet kind of fruit. They really were able to capture it here. Plus the ginger. And it also has a little bit of cashmere in it orange blossom it just is such a beautiful fragrance and i love the name Passezoir. not tonight <laughs> you know it's a very like a floral with a little bit of fruitiness without being gourmand i think it's ideal for spring also for summertime i think it's such a gorgeous fragrance and like i said it's one of my most complimented fragrances i love it and i really love that you know like for example that i'm gonna go and meet with some clients this is not gonna be overwhelming you know it's not gonna be like oh this is too much you know she's you know it's not gonna keep them out of focus does it make sense is it's a fragrance that is respectful but a beautiful feminine too yeah, it's a feminine. It's a little bit more on the feminine side, but not like girly, girly feminine, you know? Or perhaps I should say even unisex side, for that matter. Oh, love this fragrance by BDK. And also, they, I think they had come out with uh, Gris de Chanel Bat L'Estre. I know, that's very exciting too. That's super, super exciting. If you like Hermes Twilly, you're gonna like this. They are not the same. They are not dupes. This is not, you know, to replace the other one. Not at all whatsoever. But they are on that family. You know, very beautiful friends. Okay, my friends. And um, I think this makes it for this video. I really need to get going. And thank you so much to all of you, my friends. I hope this video was able to give you a little bit of a guide if you're still planning for 
what to give for Mother's Day to your mom or that a special woman that is a mother, maybe a single mom that you know that you want to pamper and care for. Or if you are a mom and you just want to celebrate yourself, you know, you should do. You should do so because being a mom is not an easy job at all whatsoever. Okay, my friends, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like these type of like blog kind of videos from time to time I can do so let's just continue the conversation in the comment section down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I would invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads and it will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day